Hello and welcome back to Travel in Chinese. I'm your host, Mark Rosewell, otherwise known as Da Shan. In our previous lesson, we were talking about having your hair done. So a You can ask for Jian Dian, cut it shorter. Jian Chila, cut it evenly. Jian Bao Dian, have it thinned out. You can even Tang Tofa, do a permanent. You can, of course, Xi Tofa, have your hair washed. And before you tree feng, have it blown dry, you might think about having a a mo, a massage. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to the cleaners and we're going to learn some vocabulary and sentence patterns that might come up when you're having your clothes cleaned. Let's take a look at today's dialogue.我是客房部的，我来取衣服。嗯，请进。衣服在这儿，我先看看。嗯。夫人，这件衬衫少了一个扣子。嗯，我知道。洗这些衣服有什么要求吗？这几件衣服要干洗，这件缩水，千万不要
，千万不要水洗。这一件衬衫的袖子上有块污渍，能洗掉吗？我看看这是什么东西。好像是酱油，嗯，可能是酱油。我们只能尽量洗，不能洗掉吗？能不能洗掉？没有把握。这些衣服都要熨吧？当然，洗完要熨好。好的，我记下来了。When will the clothes be ready? Here we see 就 being used again. 明天下午就可以给您送回来。We can send them back to you tomorrow afternoon. Jiu indicates that this is fast, sooner than might be expected. Song Huelai indicates they'll be sent back to the original place, in this case, the hotel room. Now, it's always a good idea to double check before sending the clothes out. Please check again the number of articles and the washing instructions. And check the pockets. Kids always leave things in their pockets. Sure enough, 还真有东西 There really is something there. Okay, let's watch this part again. 怎么付费？您结账退房的时候可以一起付。好的。